He was Lance Cooper. He was the 2017 NCHA Limited Non-Pro Champion. He shares that title with Ali Good. Lance rode Zen and Tonic and scored a 222. Congratulations to you, Lance. Thank you. That's a pretty impressive result. Yes, ma'am. It was really fun to, to tie with one of our best friends and a youth member. Uh, 222, I was seventh in the first set. And then I just wanted a clean run and just have fun when I showed. Now, take us through your run. Can you remember all of your cows? Uh, yeah. My first cow was a red Hereford, or a black Hereford, actually. And it was right on the outside, and she was right there. So we started with her first. And she walked straight up, and I cut her clean, and she was a really good cow to start off on. And then on my second cow, she was on the back fence. She was a white, she was a white cow, and I was coming up there, and she really didn't want to be cut. And I was kind of stuck with her, and so I had to cut her, and it really wasn't a very pretty cut, but she ended up being one, my best cow, I, I thought. So I think that's what really got my run going, that second cow. And then I quit her, and I had probably 30-some seconds on the clock. And I had a black cow right there, two cows in, and RL just said, take your time, cut her clean, and that's basically it, and then finished up on her. Now, it's pretty impressive to be 16 and be a Will Rogers champion. How does that feel? Uh, every kid, every adult even, wants to be a w- real Rogers Coliseum winner, really. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're competing, essentially, with adults. Yes, it's just so much fun to show in the building, just the energy and at the fraternity anyways. just Which is even harder. You're on a young horse. Yeah, you're on a horse that's showed the first time, and heck, most people show their horses in the open. I didn't get to show my horse in the open, and so... I showed her, and she was just getting better and better every time. And luckily, we made the finals, and she was really good that night. Were you nervous? Not in the finals, really. The finals just... I don't get nervous in the finals. More in the go-rounds, I get more nervous. Okay. Now, Ali's 18. What is it about... I mean, really, that a lot of youth win major titles in the Will Rogers. Why do you think that is? Do you just think you have less fear or less baggage that you take in with you? A lot of kids do very well in the... Will Rogers because I don't know I just don't, the nerves don't get to him I feel like I feel like it's just another show for them like most people should just go show the horse and that's what we do we just don't feel the I, they just don't feel the I don't know like you don't complicate it yeah they, they just they just show like you go have fun yeah they go have fun that's what they need to do and that's why there's probably 10 kids in the semis this year and that, we just have fun showing so yep. And maybe not having to pay the bills might help as well. <laughs> yeah, that's a big deal about it. That's a really big deal. So um, what does your dad do? How does he help you out? Does he choose your cows or do you try and take part in that process? What advice does he give you? He gives me all the advice, really. Uh, I try to choose my cows. My dad turns me around. My dad's not in my corner. So he up watching cows with me. So he picks the cows really but I have RL and Steve Olaf in my herd and so they kind of coach me through when I'm showing but it's an all team effort really Steve has great cows RL has great cows and I try to know all the cows for I know what to cut and my dad's a big part of it too and Austin Shepard turned me around but my for the most part my dad helps pick the cows all right and tell us about Zen and Tonic what do you like about this horse oh she's a great horse great attitude She's just one of those horses that you want to show. You want to go to the barn and ride. She's, she's the perfect relaxed horse for a non-pro. Like she's so easy to work, lope, do anything with. We bought this horse about a month before the show from Shane Pendleton. I saw a video on Facebook, and I said, Dad, uh, looks like a decent horse. Uh, would you mind looking at her? He's like, yeah, I'll take a look. And so we ended up trying her, and she ended up being... Good horse, really good. So what are the plans with her now? Hopefully we keep her and show her the rest of the year, hopefully. But you never know. Might get too good an offer. Yeah, if we might get a good enough offer, we might, we'll sell her. Okay. Congratulations and thanks again. Thank you.